So Louise Davila and his disappearance, right? What could, could, could kidnapping say have been involved? That's what authorities question, so do I, right? Because in New Mexico has been known over the years, right? People going missing, kidnappings and all the rest. I made a, a, a missing persons video before about a young child that went missing in Mexico, right? He was like three or four years old, possible kidnappings pertaining to groups. I go to Mexico groups, does not the fear of Mexico or anything like that, does not the fear anywhere, right? Chances you take in visiting and all the rest and various locations, you could be kidnapped in America. We know that, right? Anywhere you go, right? So I just question his disappearance, right? Because the no authorities feel that he still may be in Mexico, right? What, what type of situation played out? if he could have been kidnapped like subscribe id in the discovery channel yes id in the discovery channel the links are provided below get that discovery go app as well as the id go app you might want to get those two things combined to make them into one and i'm a discovery influencer when it comes to louise davila uh his girlfriend i question you know the the distance because you know international calls you can make international calls free international calls right from U.S. to Mexico, right? I question how often did he communicate with his girlfriend because to know his girlfriend was in Mexico and he was from Arkansas, right? How often did they communicate, right? Did the girlfriend know anything? Does she know anything, right? Were there any ties pertaining to her family of being in affiliation with anybody, right? Pertaining to if possible kidnap or anything like that how you be friends with people or something like that and things go wrong or something or i'm just in question of the girlfriend period right that's not to say anything that she was involved no that's just a question his relationship with her the distance from arkansas to mexico right what would have made him be involved with someone uh, a girlfriend in Mexico, right? The distance, long distance relationship, right? How often did he visit her, right? At did at any time she visit him, right? I question drug drug trade, drug trafficking, drug trade, right? Trafficking and all the rest pertaining to Mexico. So, Luis de Vila, he went to Mexico to visit his girlfriend in 2021, March 2021, just last year, right? He hasn't been seen since. Louise was th 31 years old at time of disappearance, right? Louise is from Bentonville, Arkansas, and was last seen near Monterey, Mexico on March 29, 2021. He was driving a 2016 Nissan Maxima before disappearance and dressed in jeans and a white shirt. Louise may have been kidnapped, as I said in the opening, and authorities feeling that sensing that he could still still be in mexico right drug trade right when i when i stated it in my opening usually when individuals are kidnapped or have been kidnapped in mexico usually it's groups that have kidnapped right usually it involves drug trade and all the rest right just randomly snatching up people and being groups and stuff like that so i'm wondering if he's yeah was one of those individuals victims or something pertaining to that when they kidnap in groups because a young missing boy that's what i was in question of when i stated it stated it in my opening the young missing boy when i made the video his uh him going missing possible kidnap right groups when, when they usually kidnap in mexico the it's usually groups. It's not like just one or two people that just kidnap. Well, the girlfriend still in question, right? But Mexico, yes, groups. What could have been the reason to know to to say if it was a random kidnap um, in Mexico where the kidnappings occur, right? It happened here, right here in America, USA, right? It could happen like that, right in America, right? Uh, USA. Whatever you choose to call it, right? It can happen anywhere. Multiple people kidnapping you at once, just randomly. No reason, no intention, just kidnap, right? 
I'm just wondering what was the situation that played out with him, the, the snatching up of an individual and say putting them in a van or something or throwing them in a van or something, right? When they kidnap in, in Mexico, what do they do with the individuals? Each, each land is different, each location is different, right? Some people get killed after kidnap. Happens in America, right? Um, but yeah. For him to be a male, because they do kidnappings of males as well, right? If, if there's a drug trade or anything like that that say could have played a part in his kidnap, kidnapping, what do you do with a male after you kidnap him? What is he useful for, right? I always question that because once a male is kidnapped or something like that, right? What, what is he, you know, sometimes there'd be ransom, right? Money involved, ransom and all the rest, right? What do you do with the male after you kidnap him? What purpose does he serve? And as after they then kidnap him, right, what do they do with him? Where do you place him once he's kidnapped? Uh, some people be kidnapped and they be sla or slaves or held captive and all the rest. How long would a Louise be held captive if he was kidnapped? What would he be doing on an everyday basis after they kidnap him? Dear viewers, I want you to question that or analyze that or so, yeah. Say if he was kidnapped, what would they be doing with him every single day of the week, Louise? Because some people don't question and analyze enough. Once someone is kidnapped, what do you do with that individual? Say if you were to hold them captive or something like that, what would you do with the Louise if you had him held captive every day? It's been a year now. That's why I'm questioning so we're on investigation discovery invest investigation discovery the id logo stands in the far left corner holding someone captive if i were to hold someone captive after kidnapping a grown man of 31 years old what would i do with him every day as i hold him captive Because some people be, how some people, like the hopeful, right? You want to remain hopeful when missing persons go missing, but you also want to question, what is he doing, right? He's 31 years old. If he was kidnapped, what would they do with him after he's kidnapped every single day? He's not a child, right? He's 31 years old. What do you do with somebody that's been captive for over a year captive. No captive for over a year. What do you do with that individual? And then and then say if he and say if he's still missing years from now, what do they still do with the individual once he's held captive for years? Right. People should question more. Well, most people don't. Because see, women, I'd be wondering, well, you know, sometimes women are held captive and raped and all the rest, right? But when it comes to men, the usefulness of him in Mexico, would they put him to work to do something or something, right? Once they kidnap him, what, what would be the intention of this random kidnapping? What would they do with him? Luis, to be 31 years old when he was kidnapped, right? At 31 years old is when he was kidnapped. That was the age at the time of disappearance, right? Would they put him to work or something? Would they have him... Would people held captive? What do they do with people that's held captive for over a year? So, dear viewers, may you question that, and I'll continue to question that. 
Uh, may you enjoy your day. I'll be back. Enjoy mine. Leave a comment in the comment section as I stated before, and I'm gone for now.